first of the 12 fences. Kilkilane in the lead for Ireland at the moment from the Brock Shee, Fishley Gamble, Royal Radar, Artifice over on the far side. Kilkilane from Royal Radar and Artifice. Slight mistake there by Dramgora. Royal Radar coming to take it up off Kilkill Owen. Artifice and Fishley Gamble, then the Brock Shee and Little Bay. And Dramgora. Adsworth Boy over on the far side. Royal Radar. Hands in the lead here, and they're going a real good clip. And racing uphill towards the next. And Royal Radar in the lead from Kill Kilo in Artifice on the inside of Rath Gorman, then Fishley Gamble and Little Bay as they come to the fourth. Royal Radar, Kill Kilo in Royal Radar really dives for that but uh, gets away with it. Royal Radar, Kill Kilo in on the inside artifice, then Rath Gorman close, then Little Bay, behind Little Bay is Fishley Gamble, then Badsworth Boy, and then Drumgora, the Brockshi, and finally Punentes as they run down to the next, Kill Kill Owen. Jumped that in the lead, from artifice on the inside, Royal Radar on the outside, Little Bay on the inner, between horses Fishley Gamble and Rath Gorman, and then Badsworth Boy getting a little bit closer with Drumgora also, that was the water. And now coming to the first of the ditches, and still motoring at a real uh, good clip, Kill Kill Owen in the lead. Fishley Gamble the grey behind him on the near side, Artifice. Drumgore and Little Bay well up there, Badsworth Boy going well in behind the leaders. Coming to the eighth now, Kill Kill Owen in the lead from Artifice. Rath Gorman, Little Bay on the inside. Fishley Gamble well up there, then Badsworth Boy and Drumgora, Punentes, then the Brockshi, and finally Royal Radar as they come to the final ditch now, four out, and Little Bay has just struck the front. Little Bay landed uh, marginally in the lead there from Artifice and Kill Kill Owen, and uh, racing now down towards the third last, it's Little Bay in the lead from Kill Kill Owen, then comes Artifice, then Rath Gorman, Fishley Gamble, Badsworth Boy, behind Badsworth Boy is Drumgora, and then comes Punentes. Royal Radar was a faller at the previous fence, and Little Bay is in the lead with three left to jump. It's Little Bay on the near side, Kill Kill Owen, and then Badsworth Boy who moves into third on the inside, Fishley Gamble on the outer. Rath Gorman is losing ground, and Little Bay is in the lead now from Kill Kill Owen, Fishley Gamble and Badsworth Boy. Little Bay landed in the lead there from Badsworth Boy. Fishley Gamble, a faller there, has interfered with Drumgora. They're racing into the home turn now, and Badsworth Boy scoots through on the inside now to take it up from Little Bay as they race towards the last. It's Badsworth Boy, clear of Little Bay, Artifice, Drumgora. Behind Drumgora is Kill Kill Owen, and then Rath Gorman as they come to the final fence now. Badsworth Boy trying to win it for the second year in succession, jumps it well, Little Bay jumps it second, Artifice jumps it third and four, Drum Gorda and five, Rath Gorman, and racing into the closing stages, and Badsworth Boy makes it a three-timer in the Queen Mother champion chase for Michael Dickinson as he wins it very easily. Badsworth Boy is the winner, second is Little Bay, third is Artifice, four is Drum Gorda, five is Punenti, six and seven, Kill Kill Owen and Rath Gorman. Those are the only finishes, and so the result of the 1984 Queen Mother Champion Chase. First, number two, Badsworth Boy, owned by Mr. D.H. Armitage, trained by Michael Dickinson and written by Robert Earnshaw. Second was number six, Little Bay, owned by Mrs. Stuart Catherwood, trained by Gordon Richards and written by John Joe O'Neill. And third was number one, Artifice, owned by Mr. Paul K. Barber, Trained by John Thorne, ridden by Peter Scudamore. Fourth was number three, Drumgora. Here's how Badsworth Boy won it in successive years, reviewed by Richard. It had been a good gallop from the start, and as they raced down this uh, to this downhill fence, which is a horrible fence to face, you can see Little Bay in front, but he runs across, left-handed across the fence, and I don't know if he unsights the grey, but the grey falls here. Kill Kill Owen nearly falls, and uh, unfortunately the grey gets up and then stumbles across out of the 
picture. Badsworth Boy, meanwhile, on the inside, goes for home. Robert Earnshaw never in danger. But uh, at this stage, Little Bay, the only one here, you never quite know what he's going to do, but uh, it was very doubtful if he'd find enough foot to take Badsworth Boy. But very pleasing to see back in third there in the light colours, Artifice, running a tremendous race, and Drum Gore of the 81 winner. But Badsworth Boy picks up at the last, a neat jump, and that clinches it. There's no way that Little Bay is going to find enough speed, even if he has got it tucked up his sleeves, to come and do Badsworth Boy here. But another... 21,000 there to Badsworth Boy. What a nice winning total he's had. Chasers don't make a lot of money, but good chasers certainly pay their way and buy enough champagne. In second place, um, the Little Bay horse who we've seen run so often, he collects nearly 8,000 for Stuart Catherwood. He doesn't need it, but I'm sure he'll welcome it. And third, Artifice, a game run from him. Oh, what a remarkable horse, this. Ten lengths and the same, the verdict. The old veteran in the foreground, Artifice. How oh, he enjoyed himself too. 13 years old, but Badsworth Boy, a mere nine-year-old, now winner of 15 of his 19 chases. Really notable performance. The 13 to 8 on favourite.